The crazy bastard angry photographer here for a, another uh, crazy video uh, where we talk about uh, the professional way to clean your lenses without fucking them up or making them more dirty or as I've uh, witnessed by working in a few camera stores making them worse than when you got them. I already made a video showing you, detailing you uh, how to determine uh, the proper way to either buy or not buy a used lens, and let's go over the proper way to clean one because most people are dirty bastards. I've seen so many thousands of lenses over the many, many, many years, and uh, past many years on eBay, it's like, you know, it take you five minutes to clean that fucking lens before you list it for sale. It's like, hmm, you know, let me see. I'm gonna about to sell this, and I'm gonna list it on eBay, and I'm gonna take some close-up pictures of it to sell it. But no, I'm not going to clean it. I'm going to leave the lens looking like my dog wiped his ass with it and my cat used it for a litter box. Yeah, that's a smart idea. Yeah, I'll take pictures of it like that. Then I'll list it on eBay. No, I won't spend five minutes cleaning it before I sell it. Really fucking smart, you assholes. Anyway, i got to give a shout out to a few people here. One is to Ian Glasson. Thank you. You're fucking awesome. Uh, also to uh, Kevin Schneider. Thank you. You're awesome. And uh, big thanks to Tyrone Johnson. What the fuck's up? You're incredible. You are finer than frog hair split four ways. And lastly to David White the second. Thank you. You are fucking awesome. Keep it real, dudes. Um... So, instead of buying all that expensive shit, your asshole camera store, B&H, tries to you need to buy this expensive shit to clean your lenses. Well, I used to clean thousands of lenses because when I worked at Beach Photo and Video, that place was a whorehouse for taking in used lenses, and I had to clean them. Now, we did have a lot of fancy stuff, but, you know, just to list them for sale. Of course, that was back in the days before Internet. Well, the Internet did exist back then. I'm not that fucking old. I'm only 42 years old. Um, the really easy, simple way. Um, I've also been dealing with lenses my entire life. I grew up in an optical facility and uh, had to grind down lenses, so I had to know how to take proper care of uh, lenses. But those were optical lenses, so those weren't photography lenses. But lenses and lens lenses are lenses and... Uh, AR coating is an AR coating, which is a crystalline coating on the front of these elements, that uh, greenish-blue tint. There's actually three different uh, three different compounds that are deposited on the, the front elements of lenses. If you want me to discuss it later, I will. It's kind of boring shit, but that green tint you see is uh, one chemical. The bluish tint you see is a uh, is another deposited crystalline uh, coating on uh, the lens to uh, maximize uh, light transmission. Um, Anyway, we're going to talk about $7 worth of shit, and that's all you need. You don't need the fancy shit that B&H sells to clean your lenses. When you get a used lens, if you know it's in great operational condition, most people are dirty fucking swine when it comes to taking care of their lenses. Before you start dragging shit across your lens uh, by cleaning it, what you need to do is you need to remove the crap, because when you got a dirty lens and you go to clean it, using a little Q-tip. By the way, the best Q-tips are not the expensive ones because the expensive ones are polyester. You want the cheap shit you get at the dollar store so that saves you even more money. Why? Because the cheap Chinese shit are cotton tip swabs. The expensive ones are a polyester. Um, I believe they're poly... poly yeah, 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 last I recall, the really expensive ones are polyester. Um, the cheap shit ones you get from China are cotton tipped. You need a whole bunch of them. I'm just going to use one here for demonstration. You have to use a bunch of them. So... So you're not dragging shit across your lens and actually ruining that nice AR coating because that's how a lot of people wreck the AR coating on their lens. See that nice green tint? There you go. Uh, first thing we do is you need a, uh, a, uh, a blower. So blow the crap off your front and rear elements. This one's already clean. Okay. Then what you're going to do is don't worry about it. Go to your uh, local paint store where the hippie douchebags hang out to, uh, where they sell uh, painting supplies like Hobby Lobby or... Like when I live near a university, we got a art store here. You get one of these super soft paint brushes. What I'm doing right now, you never want to do because this will fuck up your paintbrush. And what you're going to use this as is solely as a lens cleaning brush. Never ever do what I'm doing right now. Never, even though my hands are super clean, never touch the bristles. I'm doing right now what you should never do because it deposits, ugh, it deposits oil. 
on the brush and that's transferred to your lens so never touch it since this is a throwaway brush I'm touching it now but this is what you don't never touch it when you buy it it's a lot of plastic sleeve on it never touch it you want to clean it you know stick it in some dishwashing soap make sure you get all that soap out by rinsing it many times and letting it dry but anyway after you've done that remove all your crud which exists in your filter threads and also right here around the rim of your front element on the front element itself this one's already clean so I'm just showing you what I'm doing do the uh, likewise on the rear element now what's important on uh, cleaning your lens on a lot of lenses is that uh, as you can see the uh, rear element is uh, retracting into the barrel on uh, some lenses it retracts a whole lot and what it'll do is leave you a gap what you want to do before you clean your rear element blowing it especially you need to blow it before you uh, use your uh, use your art brush there but the art brushes are like two bucks okay the total we're talking about here is eight dollars four dollars for a blower two dollars for an art brush two dollars for a big box of q-tips and you need a a jug of distilled water okay Make your sure your rear element is all the way out, not retracted in, okay? Make sure your rear element is like an erect pecker, okay? That's an easy way to remember, because why, sh why is that important? Because when you go to blow it, and you go to use your paintbrush to remove the crud off the back, is you do not want, because invariably it's so easy to do, uh, like on a lot of zooms, the rear element will attract in, it'll be a huge gap, and when you go to blow it, what you'll doing is you, you'll be doing, you'll be blowing crap, into the lens and you thought you had some nasty spots before you'll make it a whole lot worse so make sure your rear element is all the way out as far as possible before you go to blow the crap off of it again use your brush remove the crud now this doesn't really remove much except for the loose stuff you're eventually going to have to get that in q-tip in a second put your rear cap back on you can get back to that in a second return to your front element and I'm not having it here for demonstration purposes. I keep a test tube. You poke your uh, your one end of your cube. Make sure also you never touch because you're going to use one side for uh, wetting and the other side for drying. So never do this. People will I'll see people do this. It's like I can't get my fucking lens clean. Why? Because a lot of the stuff you think, well, that's common sense. Well, common sense isn't that common, and people are pretty fucking stupid. You always want to grab your Q-tip right there. You never want to touch the front or the rear, okay? So what I'm doing right now is stupid. When you go to grab a new Q-tip, always grab it in the middle and never, ever touch either end. Wet, use distilled water, you know, $1 jug of distilled water. It'll last you three lifetimes. Wet the Q-tip. Do not use the wet Q-tip directly to the lens. What you do is have a super clean cloth over here. And what you do is you get all the excess distilled water off your wet end. Okay? And what you do is you start from the center, work in circles, make a wet spot. You're not going to make the entire lens wet. And then you reverse it. Remember never to touch either end. You work in circles to dry. Keep working in circles until you can see all the moisture is absolutely, totally gone. If you stop, you leave a streak. You're like, well, I've hit it all. If there's any wetness left, you leave a streak. So you just keep going and going and going until slightly after all the wetness is gone. What you're going to do is you're going to reverse it to the wet side again. You're going to get it wet almost all the way to the edge. Never carry the wet to the, to the edge. And also remember, if you do not dry your wet end off before you start anything, you're making a huge mistake because it's easy to actually slip uh, wetness around the front elements, around the spanner ring there once you've done that. And you're fucked. You're an idiot. You know you've you've just you you've caused a problem. You have caused a problem. You've just caused a problem. You screwed up. Never take your wet all the way to the edge of your front element or your rear element. Big mistake everybody makes. Or the other mistake they'll make is will there'll be a dripping wet Q-tip end, and they'll sit there and stick it on there, and the water will roll to the edge, and then it'll roll into the side of the front element and then you're fucked then you got an issue never do it always dry it not dry it but you take your wet q-tip remove all excess so you can't even dare squeeze a drop out and do not carry it to the edge after you've done that quickly reverse go in your little circles again you're taking your dry edge which is only very slightly damp and then what you do is you take your dry edge which is very slightly damp you stick it in the corner of the front element you drag your lens around to get all the crap out of there. Then what you quickly do is you toss that Q-tip. You repeat with a second Q-tip. Get it wet. 
Remove all excess with an extremely clean towel. Start in the center, get it wet, removing the crud. Reverse circles again until completely dry, otherwise you'll get streaks. Reverse, go around the edge without hitting the edge with your wet. Reverse circles again. Toss it, grab another Q-tip, don't wet it this time. Go in circles around the entire outer edge, working your way to the center, and then from the center towards the edge. If you see any spots, start again with another Q-tip. Wet, tamp dry. Some lenses are extremely dirty. After you've done that, try to get as much moisture off your wet end. Stick it in the edge of your filter. Threads, drag your lens around like this to get the crud out. Okay. If you've done that properly, your front element is hunky-dory, ready to go. Uh, grab an all-used toothbrush. Make sure it doesn't have any toothpaste on it. Uh, crank your barrel out as far as it'll go. Take your brush. Remove any excess dust, which is always here. I don't like that. Remember, never to touch this brush. You always have a couple of them. Once you get them dirty, soap them up. Then rinse them out really good. Let them dry. Time to work to your rear element. Remember... Have your rear element sticking out as far as possible. It's really important on a zoom. I can't really show you that well on this uh, little 28 millimeter, But some of the zooms will actually retract really far, like a turtle sticking its head back inside of its shell. Do not even dare think of cleaning it like that. Stick it out as far as it will go before you clean it. Repeat the same process on your rear element. Do not dare get wetness to the edge of the rear element. Start in the center. Slightly damp spot, reverse. Remember, always grab another Q-tip. The only way you've technically cleaned a lens properly is if you've gone through about 10 Q-tips because you can't keep dragging the dirty shit back over the lens, okay? So crystalline coating on the front and rear element, that anti-reflective AR crystalline coating is fragile. It's not super fragile, but you don't want to be dragging shit across it. Okay, wet, damp, reverse, dry in circles, um, wet again, do again, depends on how dirty your front and rear elements are. Usually they're very dirty. And then what you can do is you can take the very, very slightly damp, dry end, and then you could run it to the edge. Now, what after you've done that, is typically uh, a lot of people wonder, why is there so much shit on the inside of my camera? Well, it's not only because of the shitty lens cap, because I told you in a prior video, nobody ever cleans the inside of this. This is what's transferring all the shit to the inside of your camera, makes the inside of your camera's light box like an egg and ashtray, you always clean your rear cap, so important. The other thing you also clean is take a wet edge, dry it off on your super clean towel, you do is you drag it hard underneath the flanges of the bayonet mount, like this, immediately switch, make sure it's very lightly damp, you do not want it wet, because you've got screws here, you do not want that wetness migrating underneath the screw heads, okay? Obviously. And usually it'll be extremely dirty. You'll actually have to go, just by cleaning the bayonet mount on most used lenses because people are such filthy fucking pigs, you have to go through four or five Q-tips. So once you've done that once, toss it, grab another Q-tip, start again. A clean bayonet, uh, one of the secrets to keeping the inside of your camera clean are two very important things. Obviously always keeping a body cap on your camera if there's no lens on it. The second thing is keeping your rear lens caps perfectly clean. Everybody ever thinks about this. This is what's transferring a lot. Every used lens I buy, the inside of this looks like somebody took a dump in it. There's just so much shit in it. And that migrates its way to the back of your lens, and that migrates its way to the inside of your camera, then you're fucked! You've got shit on your sensor. Like, how did that shit get in my sensor, you know? I, you know, I just don't understand. That's why. That's how. You ignorant douchebag. And the mo third most important thing is cleaning your bayonet mount on your lens. There's crud underneath here. I've seen, I've basically never seen a used camera lens, even from professionals or even people that take really picky care of their stuff. It's like, well, the lens is perfect. You know, there's no spots in the front and rear, rear element. People that are really picky, and invariably there's just a shit stain, like, you know, a dog ran its ass around the edge of this bayonet mount, and that crap migrates its way into your camera. Clean your bayonet mount on the back of your freaking lenses, all of them. Frequently. Never oil it. So after you've done that, you've done. That's the professional way to do it. There's a lot of expensive shit people buy for clean. You know, I gotta buy this expense. No, you don't. Four dollars for two of these. A five dollar blower, which you need anyway. 
Alright, um, a one dollar box of Q-tips. The cheap ones are better. The cheap ones from the dollar store are better than the expensive Q-tips. Ones made by slave labor in China, alright? And then a distilled, don't use tap water. It's because there's minerals and shit in there. You'd be like, how come I can't get the streaks off my lenses? You know, I'm using clean tap water. Oh, especially depending on where you live at. But all of it's dirty. There's minerals and shit in there. It's not good for your coating. The chlorine that's in there, the fluoride. You don't want to be dragging that shit across your lens. It leaves streaks. It doesn't do any good for the AR lens. When we actually used to cast lenses from nickel uh, positive and negative molds, I mean, the idea of even thinking of using tap water, even clean, clean filtered tap water was just insanity. Just, you know, don't be a cheap fuck. If you buy a lot of used lenses, go out and buy a one dollar jug of distilled water. You know, you're only using like ten drops to clean a lens. If you're not going through about 15 or 10 or Q-tips to clean one lens, one good used lens that you bought, then you've done it wrong. Just go through one, toss it, grab another one, do it again so you're making things cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. You know, obviously the shit that's deposited on here, you keeps dragging it across. Oh, well, I'm not cleaning my lens, it's just not getting clean. Use some common sense, okay? Um, also, actually I mentioned the rear cap, but another important thing as far as keeping your front helmet clean is... uh. Yes, kitties. Also, invariably, the front caps of every used camera lens that I've ever seen. Oh, my God. I've seen thousands. I've owned many hundreds, but I had to clean the used ones that would come into beach photo and video and a day 1A photo. And they were just so dirty. This shit's transferring to the front. It's transferring to your front element. Even if you got a filter on there, it's transferring to your front filter, your prophylactic uh Front, front filter, uh, UV filter, for example, that you got on there is prophylactic protection for your front element on your camera lens. So keep your glass clean. Keep your bayonets clean. Keep your rear caps clean so you're not turning the inside of your camera's light box into an ashtray. You see that nice shiny silver? Yes, that's a clean bayonet mount on your lens. Very slightly important for many reasons. So that's how you clean a new lens because for some reason... 99% of used lenses you buy out there, even if they're mechanically perfect, um, are dirty as hell. People are just fucking slobs, that's just all there is to it, but... I know it's mechanically perfect, and I can clean it up, it's no big deal, I got no problem doing it. So that's how you clean a lens professionally, and it only takes six dollars. Seven, seven bucks worth of crap, a blower, a brush, a buck's worth of q-tips, and a jug of distilled water. That is the professional methodology by someone, meaning me, who had to clean thousands of lenses over a large period of time back in the past. So, that's the trick to saving you money and keeping your shit clean. So there's another little video somebody requested on how to clean your lenses or what's the best way to clean your lens. And believe it or not, the best way is also the cheap way. Um, a lot of the expensive cleaning stuff actually is counterproductive and is useless. It leaves streaks in your front element and also they give you wet wipes. You never want to apply wet where you can actually, if you can squeeze any liquid out, you can squeeze that Q-tip till it squeals or that wet wipe till it squeals, and you can even get the slightest bit of water out of it or moisture or liquid. I mean, you're screwed. I mean, that's just a huge mistake. It's so easy to creep um, wetness behind your front or your rear element. It's not even funny. Yes, this was an incredibly long video on cleaning your lenses, but... Uh, Oh well, kiss my ass, you know. Better too much information than too little. Am I right? I think I'm right. Um, like I said, give a shout out to uh, Tyrone there and uh, David White and uh, Tyrone Johnson and uh, Kevin Schneider and uh, Ian Glasson. And if uh, you all want uh, any more videos for me to make, uh, just send me an email and I will make them if I can.